Good day guys, today I'm gonna be sure how to clean your Canon G7X ma Um Excuse me. Yeah. May I please know who you are? I'm just someone. Mm. Mm, I'm trying to make a video like just me and myself in the camera. And uh, yeah, I'm quite too shy if there's somebody else around, so if you don't mind. All right, I'll be just be more alone, more uh, more energy. All right. <clears throat> Good day, mates. Today I'm gonna teach you how to clean your Canon G7X Mark II. Ready? Here we go. So if you've been listening to the uh, news worldwide, you would know that there has been a um, bushfire in Australia. And that's how my problem started. I was trying to capture something while I was on a train and I noticed uh, there is a small mark on my camera. So I tried to wipe it, nothing happened. Tried to wipe it again, nothing happened. And it's annoying and it's getting frustrating. It's heartbreaking. So we're gonna try to clean it again. And I will show you what I did before. Maybe if you have this kind sort of problems, it will help you. It may work for you. Hopefully it will work for me this time again. First thing we'll do is put a clean sheet on so that we have a proper workspace and we can see what's in there. So I'll show you what I did. I'll turn this on. Looks alright, but I can see the mark. Oh gosh, it's bloody there. Still there. I don't know. I don't. I I love this camera, and I still want to use this, and it's heartbreaking. So we're gonna put this camera, uh, zoom it in. I mean out, and then take the battery out, so that. It will stay on its some um, position. The uh, oh, sh there you go. So I will flip this out. This cover here, nice and slow, because if not, oh, hear that? Easy, easy. There's some blades, six, a total of six blades there. It might pop out and don't want trouble. Oh, there's like a small, my hands are so sweaty. <laughs> I'm nervous. And this is for the wrist stickers, guys. Go to Canon. If you don't want to do this, well, hopefully they can help you. So what I did, like what the others did, I made a hole on the other side of the lens. I mean, what do you properly call this? So I made a hole. So I drill, drill, drill manually. It's a very delicate machine and we don't want to put too much force. As I was drilling, there's a hole already, if you can see. As I was drilling, I used the vacuum machine because that will vacuum the debris because we don't want any small dust inside your lens. And then, yeah, you can see it pop out already. We're gonna fix that later. So we're gonna use a Q-tip to clean. Clean again, whatever in there. See that? 
just a tip if you don't do something silly when your q-tip is inside the camera don't put the battery again and turn on your camera that would mean the lens would automatically um, low, go down it will lower down the lens will automatically go down and then your q-tip uh, will get stuck It took me half a day to do it so what I did was I took the blades out the shutter blades there are six in total three on top three on the bottom and then if you could see like that oh, I don't want to I don't want to touch it I don't want to risk I have to take out the springs these springs the uh, springs would connect uh, on the other, um, on each side would connect the uh, shutter blades and then the lens. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm not really technical. I'm just taking this because I'm a risk taker and curious and I want to fix my camera. So yeah, when I took out the um, lens out, I tried to give it a wipe. Both the outer lens and the inner lens and still I got some results it's not bad it's not it's not satisfactory but yeah at least now I will try to put it back. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Let's see if I've gotten this better. Um, Worse. with that and we're gonna try the shots 